You can now have joint replacement surgery in the Des Moines area and be back home on the very same day. That's unbelievable. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh went to the Orthopedic Outpatient Surgery Center. He talked with a patient who will have that very experience. Stacy and Steve, Allison Springer had outpatient full knee replacement surgery this morning, and she knows what to expect after the surgery is complete. Allison Springer has been here before. In late November, she had her right knee fully replaced. And he said, well, I do outpatient surgery. Let me see if you meet the criteria. Now she readies for a second full replacement surgery, this time her left knee, and says outpatient surgery is the perfect prescription. Just knowing now I uh, anticipated the pain. I know the pain level. I know it to take to help with the pain. Insurance costs are ridiculous. Every time you stay in the hospital, you got to pay a percentage of that fee as well. For the second time, orthopedic surgeon Dr. Matthew DeWall will replace one of Springer's knees. So you're all good? I'm good. Ready? Yeah. Questions? Dr. DeWall says the key to outpatient full joint replacement is a patient who is healthy, in relatively good shape, motivated to take control of their recovery, and DMOS working closely with the patient before and after surgery. It may not be right for everybody, but you get the right patient with good support that's ready to kind of be motivated and get better. I think it's good for a lot of people. So good, full joint replacement at the outpatient surgery center up to this point has run like clockwork. I'd say essentially 100%. We really haven't had any major problems. Springer seconds that and says it is a matter of time before she is up and around on two good knees. I'm just ready for both of them to work together. Since starting the surgeries in July, 60 full joint replacements on hips, shoulders, and knees have been performed at the Orthopedic Outpatient Surgery Center. By the way, Springer went in for surgery at 9.15 this morning and was on her way home about 1.30 this afternoon. Stacy. All right, Marcus, thank you.